Hello YouTube, my name is Nasser Rolfus, and today we're going to be playing Dirt Age Total War with using the new submod that just came out for Dirt Age Total War called Divide and Conquer, which adds in a bunch of new factions and content into the base modification of Dirt Age Total War. Now, we're playing as one of these new factions called the Shadow of Mirkwood. Now, the Shadow of Mirkwood, they're pretty good with spamming out orcs and trolls. They only have one cav unit, and their starting location is pretty fucking shitty, which is why I picked them. Now, the neighbors with the Sylvan Elves over here, or whatever elfish order is over there, I'm kind of a little bit confused at which order is which, actually, to be honest. I haven't played the submod a lot, to be honest. Fully played as, I do believe, a little bit of Mordor, and then I switched over to the Shadow of Mirkwood. So, this is kind of my first time playing as them, so if I do make some mistakes, I apologize for that. Anyway, so, because their starting situation is pretty shitty, we need to go with something that's a little bit economical for our civilization well our faction let's see chieftain's hall uh no we need something else let's see uh boar breeder we could get a boar breeder actually improve food production but i don't think we need food that much to be honest ballista maker no something paved roads can actually help they could yeah, it would increase our trade and stuff like that. Definitely get get it. Let's see a barracks, however. Wait, is that barracks? Yeah, that's a barracks. 4,500. Blah, blah, blah. We can recruit a lot of units, but that doesn't really help us with our economy. Let's get paved roads right away. And then afterwards, we can probably get... Uh, let's see. Some units, actually. Mirkwood Stalkers. Now, my experience with Mirkwood Stalkers is that um, after playing against them, they're actually pretty damn shitty, but I, I don't know. We could get at least, like, one unit. That way we have a force of guys over here. And we do have two armies right right at the start. That's actually pretty cool. Let's, um... Let's put our orc units over here. In this army. Okay, combine them and we can have two over here. Yeah, so this army is actually going to be really, really big. It has four units of Mirkwood archers, and then we have four units of orcs, which is pretty good. And we can actually put this guy back in the city, or actually, no, wait. Let's put him in the main army. Yeah, why not? The reason for this is because I kind of want to expand as fast as I can. Now, I am at war with this area, ugh, but I don't know. It looks pretty shitty, to be honest. They only have a Mustering Hall, Malti, and a Bailey. We might have to conquer them, actually, because we are already at war with them. We are at, already at war with the elves over here, so we're, we're surrounded. We're definitely surrounded on all sides. Uh, let's check the finances, actually. What's going on there? Ooh, projected profits are really bad. Okay. So... We might as well attack this area, or we can instead maybe check out if there's another settlement in the forest. Ready. Here, I guess that's what the diplomat's for. Set him out. And we can move this guy down over here and attack the city. We might as well, since it's, we're already at war. Maybe we can go about this land over here and just conquer, conquer, conquer. I'm not sure about attacking the elves right away, as they do have really strong infantry, and we currently have pretty weak infantry but i'm not sure definitely has to depend our income is so shit though holy fuck it's, it's like it's like they took a diarrhea dump on mirkwood before they made this game I mean, modification holy shit though i guess it's because mirkwood has some really really powerful orcs and trolls maybe and maybe it's supposed to also highlight how the elves were just so powerful during this time. I'm not sure. Oh, let's see. The Misty Mountains. That was also my second pick I was going to play as, but I, did, I ended up not picking the Misty Mountains because I felt like, you know, having one horse unit was better than having none. Let's see... Council of Nobles. Alright, target and conquer the city over here, I guess. Oh well. 
Seems pretty good. Let's see the siege and let's see recruitment. It's been completed. We lost a couple of um, gold resources actually. That does suck. Gold resources, what? I mean, a couple of gold coins. That actually does suck quite a bit. So, you know, we're going to save up for the majority of the time. Oh, we need to figure out some way to actually fix our economy. Hold on. Before it continues to tank. Let's see. Uh, can do this. I don't manage. Wow. Financial, military, growth. <laughs> Nothing changes. Nothing fucking changes. Fuck. Useless. Useless. Alright, whatever. Let's just conquer the settlement, I guess. Ooh, fur. Is that fur or is that just a bear? It's a random fucking bear chilling. A bear skin, for fuck's sake, of all things. I don't see any settlements around this um, riverside, actually. Ah, oh, that sucks. There might be one over here, but I'm not sure. Oh, well. Okay, let's end it again. I remember as Mordor, one of the first things I did was like try to take over some Gondor cities, but I guess because Gondor, I mean uh, Mordor has the biggest starting treasury in the game, it kind of makes sense to attack Gondor like all of a sudden just like that, really easy peasy, but I guess with Mirkwood we have to do a little bit of like, um, I guess future proofing before we attack. Okay, the Dwarves of Khazan Doom. Now we can actually attack, so... Let's assault, and let's see what we get. Seriously? Like, 490? Oh my god, no. We're we're auto-resolving this shit. 56 lost. Oh my god, that was amazing. Now, we could occupy the settlement, or we could massacre it. I mean, god, I don't even know. We gain a lot of gold coins from this, but we exterminate the population this way. We're not going to gain gold no matter what. Oh well, we might as well occupy. Might as well. What's happening over here? 64 gold coins to repair? Wow, really? Yeah, let's repair this. Why not? And no units are available to hire currently. That does suck. Take this guy and move him. Okay, no cities yet. Which is success. Thank you. Thank you for the money. We love you. Can't really build anything currently. So just wait it out, I guess, is the best option. Alright, end it again. We do start off with timber, but timber is a minor resource. We need something like, uh, I guess, silk or gold or... Gems, something like that. You know, something valuable, something you can put on a ring. Like diamonds, yeah, diamonds. All right, so let's see. Military report. Blah 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 blah. What? Since the days of the War of the Elves and Sauron, the lands of Aragon and its capital city have been left abandoned. Blah blah blah. Lord Emaldorus finally decided to attempt to retake the ruins to protect it against orcs and men. Despite the valor and strength of elves, the assault has failed and Aragon now remains in the hands of others. Well, doesn't that suck for you? Holy crap. Well, of course people would be feared by him. He's a fucking walking shower curtain. That freaks me out. Okay, repair complete. That's good. And now people may frolic in the lands. Orcs. We could move forward, actually, and just conquer that capital, but... Ready. Let's see if there's maybe... Some easy pickings. Oh, what was that? Was that a, a city? Right that was a city. Oh my god. You know what? We should move eastward, actually. Listen up. Orcs. 
Ah. Uh, seems like they're pretty pissed. Okay. Get the chieftain to move in here. Good. And you guys can attack this area. Here, let's auto manage that city actually. And you guys can go on probably um growth. Can you can you even change the growth? Why is his age 25? Is aren't the Nazgul supposed to be like hundreds of years old? Wait a minute. My brain is trying to process something right now. Why do I have an heir to the throne? I'm so confused. Wait. But I'm a Nazgul. That doesn't make sense. Maybe Wait, how, how did I reproduce? Do I have, like, shadow balls or something? Does my sperm defy logic and enter planes of reality? Do, like, what? Ghost sperm? Does that even work? I don't even know. Did the Nazgul have babies? Oh, God. I don't want to even think about it. There's probably some Rule 34 shit that I can go on that can... Show me some Nazgul porn, some really good Nazgul porn. Alright, so. Some money was given to me by our Dark Lord Sauron. Thank you, Mr. Sauron. And uh, continue to attack. Struck the watchtower. Why? We don't need a watchtower. We are leaving ourselves pretty exposed, but I don't really mind too much. As we do... Have a river blocking us from the evil scourge of the elves. I'm gonna try and deal with those bandits though. If I deal with them right now, then I don't have to deal with them later on. It's probably for the best. Oh wait, has our diplomat been doing nothing? Oh fuck, I forgot to move the diplomat. Could have had two turns worth of intel by now. Alright, good. Ready. And you know what? Got to move up. over there. Stay right there. Orcs. And you're Come still on. moving along the we forest, which is good. Get ready for fighting. Pick your feet up. And can we recruit some agents? No we can't, that sucks. However, the roads will soon be made. Yes. Once the roads are made, that's gonna be really, really good. Two more turns, nice. I would love to recruit some soldiers, but I'm not sure if it will work out in my favor, actually, considering our economy is just so shit. So fucking shit. Alright, if I was a good, prosperous city, where would I be? Where would I be? Uh, probably away from the Merc Woods. They're a little bit weird. They make love to each other, the Nazgul, and they, they have babies. They have Nazgul babies. Oh, God, that would be awkward, having a Nazgul child and then sending him to, like, public school. That would be actually a really cool idea for a sitcom, having a Nazgul child stay with Aragorn's son and Legolas's son, and they go on adventures and stuff, and then Lord of the Rings happens, like the movies, and their dads have to take them away from each other, and... It becomes a story of friendship and trust through war. And at the end, they all get together and they sing a song and about friendship and they're friends forever. Oh my god, I've this would have been incredible as like a sitcom. Oh Damn it. I I would call it like Lord of the God, how would how what would be a good sitcom name for a sitcom about friendship? Let's see. Would an Asgo star? Lord of the Rings. Friendship edition. Yes. There we go. It's going to be beautiful. 